Well, hey friends. Um, it is hot in my house right now. It is nearly 80 degrees and it's super muggy. I don't know what I'm doing with this hair, but <laughs> I decided I have some time to myself. I am going to film a haul. We just got back from visiting my family in Pennsylvania and I knew that eventually we would be getting back to seeing my family so I was sending things to my sister for several months. <laughs> if I would see a sale on something that I really loved, I would send it to her house because sending things to Canada costs an arm and a leg and it just was more convenient and more easy to send it to her where I can save a significant amount on the shipping. And then some products just don't even come across the border. Some companies don't ship to Canada. So there's that. So anyways, I have a huge haul. Um, we're going to work through it really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry, this hair. Like, we're just going to go with it. Um, I'm going to work through it really quickly because there's just a lot of stuff. And I don't want to keep you forever. But let's get into it. Okay. So it's not going to be in any particular order only because I do have sort of a selection of everything and it's kind of all jumbled. But I will say I did one big Hobby Lobby order. One of the things was this adorable pineapple pitcher. Like how cute is that? So this is another Hobby Lobby find. We actually went to Hobby Lobby when I was there um, visiting because one can't have enough Hobby Lobby in their life. Um, and I came across this pitcher. Now again, white pitchers are always something that I absolutely love. I wish I had a whole collection of white ironstone pitchers, but for now um, I am settling for white ceramic and I love the shape of this one. Again, this is just something that I will, I know, just have kind of forever because it's just that classic white color okay. that I love and it's... Um, I've been collecting pictures for years, so it's kind of perfect. Okay, so I also ordered um, some stuff from emilylay.com. She, I did two separate orders. One, she had like a sale last fall or winter sometime, um, and I was able to get <laughs> the pineapple, the gold pineapple pen cup. I'm so excited, y'all. Um, I have like a pineapple shaped lamp on my desk and lots of gold accents on my desk. So this is going to go so perfect and it was on a really good sale. Um, normally I think the pen cup is like $24 and I got it way cheaper than that. So Okay, this is another Hobby Lobby find, um, Hobby Lobby, from my Hobby Lobby order. It was this little galvanized basket, yeah so cute. Okay, I got a few signs from Hobby Lobby. Um, a couple of them I'll show you at the end of the haul because they're way too big to fit in the frame. Um, and But this one is small. And it is this. It's just crazy happy. Y'all, is this me or what? <laughs> crazy happy. Like, it is. So I think I'm going to um, be making like a gallery wall in my bedroom. Um, with this and then one of the other signs and then just some other things that I have been collecting but um, I think I'm gonna put that in my room and that crazy happy will be kind of perfect. So next this was something I got at Target. I did not find much at Target this year. I think I bought two things and this is one of them. Um, I don't know I just wasn't like super a super fan of anything that they had at Target um, but I I'm obsessed with using straws. I recently realized how bad straws are for the environment and I watched a really sad video of a straw being um, surgically removed from a turtle's nostril and it was horrible and I decided that I'm now going to use like reusable straws. So um, I found these clean canteen straws. These were with all of the, it was in the sporting goods section at our Target. Um, and they are a um, stainless steel straw and they have a silicone end. So I read that a lot of people like to actually use the silicone ends. Um, it's, it's actually better for your teeth um, than bumping up against the stainless steel. You can chip a tooth or something like that. And it comes with the brush to clean inside of the straw. That was always my drawback with reusable straws. Um, just wanting to make sure that they're clean inside. Um, so there's that. You can also use a pipe cleaner if you have, um, you know, pipe cleaner. So anyways, clean canteen straws. 
for the win. Another thing in my Hobby Lobby order, um, I am a sucker for lemons and I found this lemon tea towel. Um, you know, there's just some things that you love. For me, it's lemons, watermelons, white anything, especially like white bowls, white dishes, white pitchers, um, whales, and what else do I really, really love? Wreaths. I'm obsessed with wreaths. You'll see. You'll see how obsessed I am. Um, so when I find those things, it's just, it's fun to pick them up. So anyways, I love that tea towel. Be super cute made as a pillow, but... I don't know how to do that. My mother does. And she was making these super cute pillows for my sister from tea, tea towels. And that's just the drawback of not living near your mother who sews. You hear me, Mom? Just kidding. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. So, speaking of whales, can't believe I even just said that. Um, when we went to Hobby Lobby, I found this whale tail. A whale tail. Um, it was two dollars and fifty cents. This will just like sit on a shelf, kind of probably on um, some books or something like that. But again, it's like those things that I know that I love. That for me, it's not just I'm not just gonna buy it because it's in style or in you know popular right now. This is my love. I love this kind of stuff. Always have, and likely always will. So, anyways, to spend two dollars and fifty cents on this little doodad. It's all good in the hood. I got a Hobby Lobby. I got this for Aubrey's room. I'm so in love. It is this frame. And it goes so perfectly with the colors in her room. And it is just so beautiful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made at Psalms 139.14. And I want to put a picture of her in it. Maybe a picture of her and her brother. Um and put that in her room. I love to have words of affirmation and scripture verses in my home. If you ever see any of my home tours or pictures that I post on Instagram, that is just something that I love. I love to have words of affirmation all around my home as much as possible so that um, we are constantly seeing things that remind us who we are in Christ, how much we're loved, how much we need to love other people, how much God loves us, um, and yeah, so. Speaking of words, <laughs> this is another thing I ordered from Emily Lay. This um, says, be kind, use manners, always listen, and love big. These are family rules. So this is actually lettered by Lindsay Letters, and I love Lindsay Letters. I have a couple of her prints um, for fall and for Christmas, and I actually just ordered two more. She had a really big sale, and some prints that I wanted were only $5, um, and I just love this saying. Now this is in the color mint, and it really is minty. I thought it was more like a... Um, a very light aqua blue that was the color that it was showing up on my um, my computer anytime I looked on my computer or on my phone but it's actually mint so it doesn't quite go with my my um, color scheme of things but because it's soft enough I think it's definitely it'll it'll work well okay so the next couple things are a few homeschool items we went to Ollie's bargain outlet love Ollie's especially for homeschool things and to find um, Christian things like Christian books and Bibles and stuff like that they are so discounted and you can find amazing amazing things at Ollie's so if you're a homeschooling mom or dad if you're going to be watching um, definitely check out Ollie's for materials for your um, homeschool so we are going to be doing um, some good in the beautiful curriculum and we're going to do a couple units um, one will be about the body and one will be about arthropods, um, bugs, and so anyways, I found uh, this bu book, um, it's about bugs and butterflies. We'll probably get uh, butterflies and like caterpillars and watch them um, turn into chrysalises and butterflies and all of that jazz. So anyways, it just um, shows, like, let's see photos of bugs like really up close and personal and has lots of um, fun information that I think my kiddos will really I think they'll get a kick out of looking at this book um, ugh, yuck 
Um, so anyways, this book was originally $14.99, and we got it for $2.99. Um, and then Colt, he's so funny, he's like, can I get a book? And I said, of course you can get a book. And I just randomly picked uh, this one out for him. It is an Elmo Letters and Sounds, and that's one thing that we'll be working with him on this year is his letters and sounds. He'll be doing his, um, he's four, and in Canada he would be in junior kindergarten. So anyways, this was 99 cents, and it's Sesame Street, and... Sesame Street's always good for learning. Another learning resource that we picked up at Ollie's, this thing is actually sitting in my Amazon cart right now. I was able to get it at Ollie's. It is this Earth Lab kit. So inside, um, you get like a map of the world, and there's information about various animals and stickers, and you put your stickers on the poster um, as you learn about the animals. It comes with animals. Um, and dioramas of where the animals live. Just really, really cool, cool resource. I'll actually link it in the description box below if you want to check it out a little bit further for your homeschool. I The price on here was $21.95 and I got it for $5. So another resource that we're going to use for homeschooling, um, we like to do, of course, like devotion, Bible time, like reading the Bible and stuff. And I found this super great um, devotion book. It's called Hope for Each Day, 365 Devotions for Kids by Billy Graham. I mean, how cute is this this cover? Like, it's adorable. This is originally $15.99, and I got it for $3.99. Um, and I had a look inside of it, and um, I just think the devotions are going to be so applicable for us. They are dated, so there's one for um, each day of the year. And I don't know, Billy Graham's just amazing, and I think this will just be a great resource for our homeschool. And lastly, well, I'll tell you, my husband picked up a couple books. He got one on golfing that he had actually been looking at the bookstore here. And here at the bookstore, it was, I think, I don't know, $30 maybe, and he got it for two. Um, he got a journaling, not a journaling Bible, a study Bible that he'd been looking at. Um, and it was originally $50, and he got it for $25. And then he got another book. I can't remember what it was, but again, really significant savings. And again, this is like stuff that's current, like on store shelves now. Um, it's not just a bunch of dried up old resources. It's really good stuff. So um, I picked up Present Over Perfect by Shauna Nequist. Love her. Love, love, love her. Leaving Behind Frantic for a Simpler, More Soulful Way of Living. And everyone who's read this says it's amazing. Okay. Another Emily Lay thing um, was this Happy Stripe bookmark. So, um, well, I'll show you a couple more Emily Lay things. So she came out with these fridge magnets, and I really <laughs> I wanted one. So um, I love the pattern. Um, so anyways, it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's a weekly section right here, and you basically can write whatever. Um, I'll probably do our menu plan, and then over here, um, things that you need for whatever, for your menu or, um, you know, grocery shopping, or it could be like, you know, these could be your th your activities you're doing for the week and notes over here, whatever. Anyways, they all come with like an erasable um, dry erase marker. So anyways, it's going to go right here, right here. And then on they, she recently came out, they had a launch recently with all their new products, and this was one of the products that I picked up. It is a weekly notepad. It is lined, and I love that there is like gold embossing or debossing right here. So pretty, but I am a sucker for notebook paper, like pretty note, pretty notebooks and pretty note paper. I couldn't not. <laughs> get it. And then the last thing, I think this is the last thing I got from Emily Lay, I got her address book. Um, this color kind of really goes with the things that I have going on in my command center. Um, I have wanted a nice address book. It is, it's beautiful. It's got, like, got polka dots on the inside. It has this gold um, feet or whatever binding things. I don't know what you call them. Um, and it's got the gold writing. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful address book. And it's got the little pineapple here. 
it's so perfect okay so my youngest sister um, when I was kind of going through like all of my health stuff and just all my personal um, crisis a couple months ago there um, her small group her Bible study small group um, put together a package for me and I didn't quite realize it at the time I thought she was just sending me stuff but the box is going to be $75 to mail. And I was like, don't send that to me. That's so crazy. Um, but she and her friends had put together an entire box filled. I mean, just stuffed with things for me. There was chocolate and bath bombs and candles and hand soap and trinkets and books and DVDs and so much stuff that when my sister gave this to me, like I was teary because this was... The hands and feet of God ministering to me through these women and I think sometimes when we go through crisis um, we need people to meet us in those areas and it was amazing to me the people who came into my life um, during that time and who helped me in such ways I think when we know that people are in a state um, they need help or they're going through a crisis this is the sort of thing that I think especially as Christians and good people we just need to meet people where they're at and these women blessed my socks off um, so I'm not gonna go through the whole box because there really is just a ton of stuff but I'm gonna show you a few a few of the things um, one thing was uh, my sister Julie got me this um, mini planner kit uh, from the Target dollar spot so there's a bunch of um, really cute like page flags and she knows me well because she knows I love all things planner and then they got me um, this adult coloring book and it says live free craft God's word in your heart through creative expression now this was so cool so it gives you let's see it gives you a um a verse and then it gives you a place to reflect and then it gives you a page to color with a verse as well and it is just so amazing it talks about who you are in christ and you have the opportunity to fill this out and color it and um I don't know, just be soaked in um, and reflective on who you are in Christ. You are forgiven. You are alive in Christ. You are God's child. You are God's heir. And like there's verses that back up all of these and an opportunity just to, to journal that all out. You are God's masterpiece. So anyways, this is so cool. And I'm really excited to incorporate this into my um, daily quiet time. So, uh, Julie also got me this Ray Dunn smile mug. Like, how cute. Ah, smile. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. She also got me um, this little candle, or <laughs> this little, whoa, <laughs> this little cake plate. My goodness, this little cake plate. Um, and she got a candle to go on top of it. So, it's so stinking cute. And this is, again, like the shape of this love cake plates this is just something that I know that I'll I'll kind of have forever so I'm excited about that another thing they got was this plaque like, let your faith be bigger than your fears don't we all need a little bit of this in our life um this was super cool so this is um it's called an all with you always cross and so you hold this cross in your hands whenever you need to remember God is holding you in his and so it's just this wooden cross. It's really soft. It feels really nice. Um, this cross lets your hands feel what your heart already knows, that God is there. He cares, and he's never going to let you go. You can hold on to this cross when you need to be encouraged, pause for a moment to pray, or cling to what's true in the middle of a rough day. Most of all, let it remind you that you are loved more than you can even grasp. Um, it's crafted from rubber wood, and it's from Dayspring. So I thought that was so cool. I'd never even... Um, of anything like that so and then they also got me 
a journal and it has um, Galatians 5 22 and 23 on it it's the fruits of the spirit and what is so crazy I told my sister is that during that time I actually had a journal like this it wasn't the same verse but it was kind of the same cover it was a lighter pink and it was this laser cut out design and I used that journal during that time that very dark time that I was going through and it's just amazing to kind of be on the other side of that now and to now have a new fresh journal to move all of my thoughts and reflections and prayers into um, yeah yeah so it's crazy how God works like that. It could have been any journal in the world, but it was one that was almost identical to the one that I had before, but in a different way. Different verse, different pattern, brighter color, but almost identical. Um, and then, so Julie also got me this. I did not even know that Ray Dunn made these, but this is so cool. Hold on, I just took the tag off. It is one of these Ray Dunn jars. Like, I didn't even know that this was a thing. Um, but yeah, it's real Ray Dunn. And it's, <laughs> I love the tag. I can always use another mason jar. It's so true. So I actually think I'm going to put like fairy lights in this and set this out. I think it's so cool. So, so cool. Okay, so I'm pulling over this big box. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. All right. Um, so we'll start with this. This was the other only thing that I bought at Target. I bought a lampshade. I love this beautiful blue color. I wish I had bought another one. I debated big time on whether I should buy it. Um, there were two. I might have my sister pick me up one. I don't know. But it's a light blue shade. It's beautiful. And I have lots of lamps without shades. So I figured I would get that one. They had some really cute shades at Target. Um, okay, so <laughs> speaking of wreaths, I'm kind of obsessed with wreaths. This is one of them. I have this wreath already. That's how crazy I am, y'all. I have this wreath. So this is a lemon balm wreath, and it is from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $20, and I got it, you know, half off. I never buy anything unless it's on sale there. Um, and I love this wreath. I have this on my hall door, but I think I want to, um, I have, I have wreaths on like practically every door. So I think I'm going to hang this one up maybe in my kitchen just to kind of brighten. I have a wreath hanging on my laundry room door, but I might hang that one up just some, for some freshness. And then I got this wreath. So again, this one was $20 as well. I'm not sure what this wreath is called. Um, it's not the most high quality wreath, but it's faux enough that I could even like hang this on my outside door and, you know, you know. Okay, so then I got this such a cute little jar. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's like hobnail and it's got some, um, you know, looks kind of rustic. This was originally $3.99. This is in the spring collection. Um... I don't know if I got this on sale or not, but I thought it was adorable. Look at this. Like, how cute is that with, like, a little something in it? <gasps> cute. <sighs> okay. I can't believe I got this. I'm so excited. So this was something I bought at Hobblob, Hobblob, um, when we went shopping there, and it is at Hey y'all, sign. Well, we had a little picnic with my mom, a um, family dinner, and she had these star-shaped candy dishes uh, at the table, and they had like animal crackers in them with some Funfetti dip. Anyways, my sisters and I all got to take one home, so that was in my box. And then I got this um, wire basket, almost done. Then I got four of these galvanized chargers metal ish um so i got four of those and then i got four of i got four of these white chargers so i don't know i just am starting to kind of get into like a little bit tablescape ish sort of stuff and i thought those were so pretty oh my husband's FaceTiming me. Hello. 
Hi. And then I got another frame. This is what this looks like. I love the chicken wire and I love that I can put like a print here and then you can change whatever out over here. So that's really cute. And then it does come on that kind of thing. So you could either hang this or, um, you know, stand it up on a shelf or whatever. So, and then, this is the last item in the box, but it's not quite done with the haul yet. I got this sign. So I'm not sure if it's all fitting in, but it says blessed. And I really am. I I might stick this above my kitchen sink. I'm looking at it right now. I was going to make a sign that said supermarket, but by the time I finally get the wood, I don't know. It's just been taking me like three years to do it. So Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the other two other signs and then one other thing that I got. Okay, so this sign is one I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's so tall, like as you can see, this is how, um, this is the table, like right behind it. Um, and I love these two verses. I actually have uh, these two verses written in some planner pages that I created for myself. And this will be the sign that I'm gonna hang in my bedroom and um, do a gallery wall with. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do with this sign. Um, but so there's that one and then there is this large farmhouse sign that you've likely seen um, before and I'm so in love with it I am gonna hang this above my washer and dryer we have a really blank open space there and I've been looking for something to fill that space for three years now and this is gonna be perfect um, I have always loved farmhouse style it has been um, something I've loved since, I mean, I've wanted to be a farmer when I grew up. So this is something that I knew that I would not grow out of um, and something that I will love forever. So I decided to make the plunge and buy it and it was 50% off as well. So lastly, this is my little Raggedy Ann doll. Um, she is something that I bought for myself for my birthday. Uh, my birthday was in February and I turned 36 and I bought myself a doll. <laughs> um, I found this account on Instagram. I'll leave it uh, down below. I think it's called Raggedy Old Andy's or Old Raggedy Andy raggedy ands or something like that um and these are all handmade dolls they're all different and um they have different faces different hair different lengths and they're all kind of one of a kind um and they all carry something different um they're just adorable i wish i had a whole bunch more of them they're so cute um anyways she does basically she'll make a set of dolls and she will post them on Instagram. She'll let you know that she's going to post them. She shows some previews of the dolls. And then basically it's first come, first serve. You say sold or I want it. And the first person gets the doll. So um, anyways, I loved this little girl. I loved her face. And she smells so good. She smells like a country shop. Like if you've ever gone into a country shop that just smells like all the candles and all of the goodness, that is what she smells like. And I love it. So that was my birthday gift to myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a really great day. Um, have you got any new fun finds? I'd love to hear about them. And hopefully y'all are having a good day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> How would you like this for a thumbnail? Hmm, like, really? Oh my.